Hi there! My name is Pixelipe and this is the episode 5 of Game Dev Adventures. In this episode, we will use a layer based system to create a fake 3D effect. We will be able to control everything in our scene, such as color and depth. We'll also make some more elements such as bushes, rocks and stairs. After today, our creation tool will be complete and we'll finally be able to jump into AI, mechanics and such. Earlier this week, I made a lot of research on how to achieve a fake 3D effect in Godot. Then I stumbled across a Godot experimental feature called Pseudo 3D. This 3D effect is done by stacking canvas layers on top of each other and scaling them up and down so the layers move at different speeds. I tried it myself and I thought I could use it to make my foreground and background more interesting. I decided to draw some more bushes since the ones I have right now are too small. I didn't really like the first result so much, so back to the drawing board. I imported the images to Photoshop and made some shading. I tried for hours and made a lot of versions I did not like, but eventually I made one I was really happy with. I like it, but I still thought it lacked something. So I made some rocks to go with it. Again, there were a lot of versions until I got something I liked. And again, there's something quite missing. Then I added some outlines and suddenly everything fell into place. I'm really, really happy with the result. Now we just have to implement this new style into the level editor. I begin by creating a slider in which I can choose which layer I'm editing. And a color picker so I can modulate each layer. I also made a shader to change the saturation of background elements. And finally, I made a slider to change the depth of each layer so I can make things really far if I wanted to. Working with multiple layers proved to be harder than I thought. I had to rewrite big chunks of code because of mouse issues. For some reason, it would not detect when the mouse hovers over an object, since the objects are now in different planes. But everything worked fine in the end. I also tried to create a fog shader to put some distinction between layers, but it did not combine at all. I'll keep it saved just in case. It took me a lot longer than I initially expected to fix all the bugs that came with this new system. But it looks amazing so it was really worth it. That day I really felt like drawing so I began making some structures. The idea for the scenery is to make a mountain, similar to what's going on in the background. For that, I decided to make some buildings, which is hopefully turning into a starting city in which our story starts. It will serve as a tutorial slash introduction area, in which everything, including our objective, is introduced. That's the result for now. I'll probably tweak the colors and shade it later. I also made some lanterns, since there are no light sources at the moment. After I got happy with the result, I set up a little test to see how everything fits together. It looks really good, but honestly, having to jump all the way up was bothering me a little. So I started making something I've been meaning to do for quite a while now, which are stairs. To auto-tile the stairs, I used a tile set script that binds tiles with different IDs together. So instead of getting this, I get this. This script is really useful and I use it all the time. It's made by Ginger Radios Games and I highly recommend you to check him out. Link is in the description. My newly formed stairs presented all sorts of bugs, such as sliding, 
extreme speed, and lots of jumping. Working with slopes in Godot proved to be more challenging than I thought. After tons of modifications to the character movement, my stairs work wonderfully. It added a lot to the game and made it much more interesting. With this new layer-based editor, we have much more control over how the game looks in terms of color and depth. For now, we're done with the editor and with the environment structure. We are now ready to take it to the next stage. Work on levels, mechanics, enemies, and finally make our story. I have a lot of plans for this game, and I really hope they work the way it is in my head. I also want to let you know that from now on, I'll be releasing videos every other Saturday, instead of every week. Game development can take a really long time to get only a minute's worth of progress, and a few of the videos will have a better quality overall. As always, if you have any suggestions, features or mechanic ideas, put it down in the comments. I usually read through all your comments, and I would love to read what you have to say. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers!